So here I'm in my new Sway document, a blank document. Now let's see how we can work with text, headings and heading backgrounds. So over here, the first card that you see is a heading. So I can simply go over here and type in something like to the tube, just like this. I can go around here and bold this out or I can give it an accent that is italicize it. I can also link it out right here. So let's say what I want to do is I want to select this, link it out on to my Tutor Tube channel. So I'm just going to type in STTP, um, STTP, uh, STTP colon youtube.com slash Tutor Tube, which is the link to my Tutor Tube YouTube channel. So I'm just going to press OK. And what happens is that a link has been created. I can choose a background as well. So I can simply click here on the background and I'm going to say something like YouTube, let's say, for example, and let's see if some image pops up and I can see that YouTube is here. The logo is here. So I'm just going to go around and choose this image and click on add. And that image has been added out just like that. So what I can also do is upload my own image and do now work around with that those as well. But we're going to work with images in further lessons. So I'm just going to go around and work with other text options. So this is the main heading. So if I were to click on the insert content button, the plus icon right here on the text option, you can see that heading is an option and text is an option as well. So if I were to go to heading, what happens is that a heading is created. So you can add in a background, you can add an emphasis, accent and link. So I'm just going to type in something like lessons at your convenience, just like this. And I can go over here onto a background and then choose an image. In this case, I'm just going to upload out my own image. So I'm just going to go around onto background. Let me just go around just like this. And I'm going to go around and close this out just like that. So this is the suggested out image just like that. So I'm going to go around onto the suggested part. I'm going, I'm going to go to my device. I can also upload it from one of these services right here, but I'm just going to upload it from my device and my Explorer will open up. So I'm just going to go around onto my images folder and choose a folder that I want to use. So I'm just going to open this out and that image will be opened up and it'll be loaded here. Note that any of the file that you upload in Microsoft Sway should not be larger than 20 megabytes. But usually when you upload an image, it should be smaller. So you can see right here, what I can do is I can add in more text as well. So if I were to go to text, you can see now heading two is available just like this. So I can go around here and there's a second level of heading, but in second level of heading, you don't have uh, uh, an option to add in background image. So I'm just going to add in keep on learning. So keep on learning just like this. And this is going to be my heading too, just like that. So these are like cards stacking up just like that. So I can press the plus icon again, and then I'm going to add in a text and I'm going to type in something in this YouTube channel. You can learn regarding design and general computing just like this. So you can simply add in text right here and right click on this and you can see that there's spell check and everything else as well. You can also convert this into heading. So if you were to press heading, it'll be converted into a heading, but you cannot convert it back. So I'm just not going to worry about that. So I can emphasize, I'm just going to emphasize the YouTube channel right here. And I'm just going to go around and ascend um, that is italicize the design and general computing part right here. So I'm just going to go around and I can work around with bullet points as well. So I'm going to uh, say something like right here. I'm just going to undo this out just like that. Press control Z or I can press undo from right over here as well. So I'm just going to go around and type in something like uh, design. And let's say, for example, I want to add in computing just like this. So I can select this out, select both of these out right here and turn it out into bullet points, as you can see right here. And all of them has been turned. So I'm just going to go around and then press enter. There you go. So you can arrange everything out in a bullet point just like this or a numbered list. If you were to press numbered list, it is one, two, just like that. You can also go over here onto YouTube channel. Let's say I want to link this out. I can link it out onto YouTube 
dot com slash tutatube just like this i'm just going to type in tutatube and that is how it works so now if i were to go to design what happens is this so you can see that lesson at your convenience has been turned on to uh, slide just like this so I can see that all these are the information which is here So I'm just going to go to styles and then go to vertical choose this out and this is how it seems So you can see that this is totally clickable if I were to click on this then it says you'll be leaving sway and my youtube channel will open up so i'm just going to press cancel for now so if i were to scroll down you see my other information and even this one this link is clickable and once i click it it'll go up to the uh, to my youtube youtube channel so just like that you can work around with the storyline headings and different heading options so like i said i can also go around here and choose different layout so right now you can see that this is quite small but if i were to go on to storyline and press this one so it says now set this emphasis on this card to be subtle so uh if it is not very important then you might want to choose this if it is important then you might want to choose this one that is this is more in focus now and if i were to go in design you can see that it is much more larger in size similarly in other cards as well over here you'll have other options in heading it is usually emphasized but if you are to go over here onto a regular text you can make it small or make it emphasized just like this so small or emphasized and that is how you can work with text heading and heading backgrounds inside of microsoft sway so hope you guys learn something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe